Hi guys, Doug here, Batman and Mud Mowers. Story on this. Y'all already seen how to clean carburetors and stuff like that. So I didn't want to bore you with it. I probably ain't going to bore you with it, installing it, and everything. But, continue with the story. Here's a motor. It's a six horse. Breezes. No, five and a half horse. I'm sorry. Five and a half horse. Gear reduction. Breezes Stratton. Maybe y'all can tell me. I could take that gear reduction off. Continue with the story. Come out here. I gotta close my shop door because we got air conditioning in the shop. Go kart. I'm working on it. I didn't want to bore you about taking off the shroud, but I will film putting a coil on and cleaning the magnets and getting it back together, and then I'll bring you back when I have it running. So, we're going to continue on the story. We're going to walk out of, out here, over here. The reason why I'm asking about that five and a half horse Bruce Stratton gear reduction, because I have these. Um... Maybe some of y'all can tell me what type of frame this is. Who's the manufacturer? It's got wheel hubs, all four corners. This one too. It's got wheel hubs, all four corners. This one supposedly runs. It's got a uh, belt system, clutch, needs a chain. I seriously hope y'all can tell me both of these go-karts because I ain't got a clue who's the manufacturer of them. But we're going to get them running, we're going to paint them up, we're going to clean them up, and we're going to flip them. That's what we're going to do. So, y'all can tell me, tell me about them. I would seriously appreciate it very much. And we're going to bring you down here. Get you mounted up. Excuse me if I shake you all around. I'm sorry. But that's how it is, buddy. Alright, we got you locked down. I got some 80 grit sandpaper. We're going to clean these magnets right quick. So we have a good chance of getting a good spark. I cleaned them up once before when I diagnosed that the coil was bad. And from sitting out here, I got rusted back up. Alright. We got the new coil. little bolts in there. 
Get them started. I don't have the feeler gauge for the putting adjusting the coil. I don't have one. But the old school thing was using a business card in between it. So that's what I'm gonna use. It worked a long time ago, and I don't see why it won't work now. That's what my dad showed me how to do. She's good and lined up. Let me move this back. So. Come on. Spin it around. Make sure she ain't gonna hit. Good deal. We're clear. Alright guys. Now I got one little one little one I gotta put on. If it's gonna go there. Why not go in? It's the way the old one was. See if you do it. Right. Sorry, my hands are in the way. Okay. I have to do something different. I'm going to lengthen this out and bring it out in between here and fasten it there to the outside and ground it that way. It'll work. It'll work. So I'll bring you back when I got that done. You just hold on. Be right back. All right, guys, we're back. I made up the kill wire, so I didn't have any black wire. See the uh, welcome mat I got done? Yep, I'm filming. Uh, 
get this hooked up. You already got the part on it? Yep. Papa's filming, hang on. Hang on. You're, okay, yeah, you got it fixed. Never mind. He's trying to fix this go kart for some kids down the street. Can I put this on it? No. Not right now. You're you not big enough quite yet for that. You ain't big enough, buddy. They've been riding them damn scooters. Oh. They're riding the wheels off on them. <laughs> she's she wearing her helmet all right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I know she was complaining about it. Now the hard ones. Bugger to get in. Well, I lucked out on that one. I'm on my side today. No, 
Not yet. Maybe tomorrow. No, it's probably too cold. Put it up. Get away from the pole, Lily Grace. Go play. Go on. Now. Bicycle. One. That's all on, um, guys. And I'll bring you back when I get the gas tank hooked up and everything. See you then. Bye. Well, guys, we're back on this again. I found some interesting things. I got spark. But, watch my hand. This is the exhaust valve. There she goes. She drops down, comes back up. Intake valve. Nothing. Nothing at all. You press down on it. But then she stops. So I have to get back into it a little bit more. But it don't look good. Don't look good at all. I think they over revved this motor. I really do. She might have. Something might happen inter internal. But, it's a customer's one, so we'll see what they want to do. Plus, it's the Cumsy, so <laughs> there you go. Alright, this is the end of that story for right now. Y'all have yourself a good one. God bless. We'll see you on the next one.